leaving my mark like initials carved in an old oak tree. You wait and see. Maybe I'll write like Twango. Maybe I'll paint like Van Gogh. Cure the common cold. I don't know, but I'm ready to start. Cause I know in my heart I wanna do something that matters. Say something different. Something that sets the whole world. Cancer is something that you never think is going to happen to you. You always hear about it, and it's always someone's sister or mother or daughter. But you never think it's going to happen to you, and when it does, you think that it's the end of the world. When I first found out I was going to be having uh, chemo, I was really scared, nervous, upset, all of the above. And they told me about the side effects that I could encounter. Basically, you have to just wait and see how chemo affects you. One of the side effects they told me for sure I would experience would be hair loss. I've had long hair way down past my shoulders for years. I decided to be proactive and I decided to get my hair cut to a shorter length before I actually lost it. it. Takes you real quick to realize that hair is just hair and eventually it's gonna come back when this is all done. First round of chemo, I take two different drugs and right away I noticed that things were not tasting anything like they used to taste. I'm a huge coffee drinker. I usually have a couple cups of coffee during the day. I tried to drink coffee shortly after I started chemo and my actual first reaction was I spit the coffee out into the sink. I developed a theory, it's, of course it's my own theory, and I called it the window of taste is opening. So in my mind, there was a very minute window where things would taste good for a short amount of time. I'm a huge lover of cakes and cookies and brownies. I literally would buy one of each thing from the grocery store and see which one tasted good. Apples tasted really good. Strawberries weren't too bad. Broccoli, I'm usually a broccoli fan. The smell of that cooking broccoli, I did not like. But like windows that open, they always have to close. And within probably 48 hours, the window would close and that item that tasted good previously wouldn't taste good anymore. You will notice me. I'll Without the support, from my family, my friends at school, the students at school, acquaintances from other places. I don't know how I could make it through this. The most amazing gifts I've received are blankets that were made for me. One is a pink breast cancer polar fleece blanket, and I sit underneath that blanket every single day. Handmade quilt made by students and families from my elementary school. They're probably the reason that keeps me strong and keeps me going to fight and knowing that I can get through this. If I can fight this disease, everyone else can. When this is over and I can look back and my hair has grown back, I'm gonna realize that having cancer actually makes you a stronger person. It puts your priorities exactly into the place it should be. What's important are your family, your friends, and living the best life that you can and everything else isn't even important. Yes, there are days you feel sorry for yourself, and I do too, but you try to put those days behind you as quickly as possible and get on with the task at hand, which is fighting this disease so I can live the rest of my life exactly how I want to. Maybe I'll compose symphonies. Maybe I'll fight for world peace. Cause I know it's my day. of myself in this place I want to do something that matters say something different
different.